Oh, ooh, 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 okay. 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 I see that. I don't know why I landed that far away, but I see that. That's a level three Eurasian teal. Um, it would appear my my little duck setup I have going out here, my waterfowl setup, is working. Uh, I have three different ones set up in this little area. Uh, I believe, yeah, Tufted Duck, Golden Eye. I think it's Tufted Duck's the one in front of me. It should be Golden Eye is off to the right over there, kind of where those Tufteds are right now. It's a nice Tufted Duck. And Eurasian Teal are over there. I saw them land over there. I'm going to try to get into my little blind I have set up here and hope I can see him from there. Hopefully he's part of this group. It's actually at the Teal decoys. We'll see. Um, it's going to be slow going to get there. I, I literally just loaded into the map. Um... <laughs> And they were flying around everywhere. I loaded it into my tent right there, and it was just instantaneous. I heard them all flying around. It was crazy. This is this map has just been such an experience. There's more teal. I need. There was a level three teal that flew away. That was more widgeon. There. There it is. I think that's the same one. It might be the same estimate. I'm just going to get back into my blind. If I can. This is a vision collar. Whatever. I'm going to use it. So it sounds cool. We're gonna very slowly. I'm going to have you lay down. And I'm going to crawl. Hey, we spotted him immediately. Look at that. Oh, he's coming down for a landing. Fifty meters away. They are laying right behind me. That is our guy. That's our level three right there. I think I got something, but I don't know if I got, you know, the, the big one. It took off right when I was... Uh, well, time to go over there, I guess, and see if we hit something. I really hope we did. I see one down there, and it's spotted. So I have pretty high hope that's our level three. I'm almost certain we got him. We got him. There we go. First diamond on the new map is a Eurasian teal light green 355.8. Look at that. That is beautiful. I am so happy we got that. I was so upset. It flew away in the beginning and then it came back. We got it. So nice. Hey, there we go. Once again, we have a Eurasian teal here. Level three. So okay, not just any Eurasian teal. It is actually level three. So that's very cool. Um trying to spot everything else that was around me, but I did not do the best job of that. Those are decoys. Those also seem to be decoys. Uh -oh. well, now I have the issue of I lost where the level 3 was. Oh, there he is. Alright. So... Okay, we got one flying away. I'm not great at getting them as they're flying away, but we got that one. I had kind of been changing around my setup a little bit so I could have all three or three different kinds of ducks around the one blind. I'm going to have to move that uh, probably on the other side of the island or somewhere over there where I have another setup that I'll get going. 
Um, but yeah, I also... So at this moment in time, uh, we get some technical difficulties. I had to get up and actually grab something from downstairs at that moment. That's why it kind of cut right there. Um, but I realized that at this moment in time, uh, my microphone stopped recording. I don't know exactly what happened while I was gone, but it did stop. Um, so right now I'm just kind of commenting on that. Uh, so from here on out, it's going to be mainly just uh, in-game audio. So I apologize for that any inconvenience from that. I will chime in on this voiceover a little bit uh, here and there. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be mainly just game audio for now. Sorry about that. So the reason I was just looking around right there, I had forgotten where I shot the uh, most of the Eurasian teal from earlier. So I thought they had floated away or just disappeared until I saw them on the shore over here. Um, but yeah, I finally found them. And as you see right there, we did get a diamond on that second one. This time it is a dark green uh, plumage type, which is good because that means it is different from the light green plumage type that we shot earlier. And we, as we're looking there, it just made diamond at 0.2 above. So that was uh, pretty cool to see and a little scary that we almost lost it. Um, but yeah, we did get uh, that diamond off of that, so that was pretty cool. And right here, about probably three minutes later uh, in real time, uh, I spotted this level three mallard flying above us. Um, which is kind of funny, because if you noticed, I didn't have any Mallard decoys out, um, but there had already been some circling, so I had let out a Mallard call with the Deluxe Beacon Caller, or whatever it is called. Um, and I saw that guy flying around, so we're going to wait for him to land and see if we can get something good off of him. And once again, that is another diamond for us here. Got that mallard, just made it, or maybe not just made it, but yeah, 20 score out of 19.61, so made it by 0.39. Uh, that was a really cool find. I hadn't done a whole lot of mallard hunting previously. Obviously, I've gotten a couple pie balls. I don't know if I had a diamond before this. I'll have to check in my lodge, because I haven't done that yet, to be honest. Uh, but that was a very cool find to have found. 
uh, find to have found. That's ironic, uh, especially since, you know, like I mentioned, we had no, you know, mallard decoys out. They were kind of started circling by themselves before I called some more in. Um, but we're going to grab the rest of them. Uh, they're all the same plumage type at black brown, which I thought was interesting how every single one was that same plumage type. But I assume that's just what common is. Uh, so instead of being common, they're going to say black brown like that. Uh, but yeah, that was a very cool find. And just about now, you're going to see me spot a golden eye duck, drake, I suppose is the word, uh, that looks a bit different than anyone I'd other seen. So I haven't seen any other rare, uh, any other, I haven't seen any rare uh, plumage types of the golden eyes yet. Um, so I needed to get that. As you saw, I kind of blasted quite a bit at that shoreline because uh, there were so many of them clumped up there. Uh, and as we run over here, you're going to see just how many we got down with those shots that hit the shore. I had originally thought I didn't get that many until I got over here. There's about six of them down, I think. Um, but yeah, that one definitely looks a lot different. And upon picking it up, I realized it's a leucistic, which is extremely awesome. I, from my memory, I have about two, maybe three different leucistic trophies in general. Um... One of them was a leucistic reindeer female, which I really messed up the shot on. So it was like a gold. Uh, no, it wasn't a gold. It was going to be a silver. It ended up scoring a bronze, I believe, or something like that. That was really cool to see. So I hadn't seen any of those posted in the community yet, obviously. I haven't done too much looking around, but I just thought that was so awesome to find. Um, my first rare waterfowl off of Revan to the Coast there. Wasn't a super high scoring guy, but regardless of that, it's very cool. And right now I'm pointing out how you get like the the brown kind of coloration on the on the plumage with that. Um, yeah, we got quite a bit of golden eye there. Um, and since the outro to the video uh, that I recorded didn't actually get recorded, uh, I'll say it now. Um, so thank you so much everyone for making it this far into the video. If you have, I super appreciate all of you. Um, this is definitely my go-to waterfowl hunting spot now on Reventuli Coast. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it or if there's any other places you think I should check out, any uh, you know, changes I should make to my setup. But as of right now, I think that's going to do uh, you know, in the span of you know, a couple hours. Obviously, I wasn't doing just waterfowl hunting that whole time, but in the span of a couple hours, we got three diamonds and one rare. And I think that's just incredible. Um, yeah, so thank you so much once again. You're now leaving the danger zone, though, so stay safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.